Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up two vehicles on the same course using course play. So this is basically having two combines on the same field working together. So what we want to do is hop into our combine right here. Let's put it into field work mode so we can get the course. This is field number 17, which we should have set up already. Good. Uh, so we're going to set this up to the working width of this course is going to be double the width of these implements. So for example, uh, whoops. Uh, these working these uh, width of this particular header is 4.2 meters. So I'm going to keep it to 4 meters uh, because it only works in 0.5 uh, increments. So I'm going to make the working width of the course double the length of one of these. So I'll make it 8 essentially. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's make it 8. So we have 8 meters wide, like so. And we're going to make the starting corner as the north east corner. And we'll head, have them head south, no headland. And we generate course. So that's, base, that's a basic course for uh, course play to get your combine to run. Now what we want to do is we want to go into this section right here. Um, this section right here, which is called the driving settings. There we go. And what we want to do is we want to put this onto the lane offset mode. So in this example, you're going to have two implements, and it's double the width. So you're going to have one going to the left a little bit and one going to the right a little bit. So for example, in this particular case, I'm going to have this guy. I'm going to have him off to the... I'm going to have him two meters off to the right. And then no symmetrical lane change. Uh, symmetrical lane change would be... Well, I can show you that in a second. Well, basically what it works is... Either they go around up and they turn back around like really on the same path right beside it, or they make they skip a, a lane basically. All right, so he's ready to go, and get this guy set up as well. So let's go to the driver settings. We're going to copy the same course as the other combine. There we go. Copy the course. Now, if you remember, we had let's change him in the right mode here. There we go. If you remember, we had this guy off to the right, so this guy's going to go off to the left two meters like so. So basically what's going to happen is uh, you want to set these two vehicles off uh, in at different times. If you set them off at the same time they'll get stuck, uh, particularly because we have them set so there's a 0.2 overlap essentially. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Alright, so let's set this guy on his way. So let's set him to the first waypoint like so. So he's going off to the right, he's unfolding, and he's going to go on his way. As you can see, He's doing his thing. He skipped a little bit to start. That tends to be the case with course play for whatever reason. And we'll have this guy start as well. So normally I wouldn't start them right back to back like this, but it just gives you an idea of how it works. So this guy's going to go to the left. And once he's unfolded, he's going to start and he's going to go on his way. Once he gets on his path, there we go. There you have it. So. The idea behind this is you have, if you have two implements like this, uh, they're four meters each. So you want to make the course double the width of the, t double the width of one of the implements. Uh, so for example, this is four meters. So you want to make the generator course at eight meters, and then the offset is half of the working width. So because you set it off, so like in the middle line is like let's say this tire right here, right around here. So two meters is you just need to offset it just two meters. So you upset it just a little bit, and then you have the extra little bit on the other side there. So offset is half of the working width of the implement, essentially. And the generated course was based on, well, it's not this one, it's the other one. Uh, it was based on 8 meters, so it's double the width of the working implements. So there you have it. You can do that with combines. You can do that with plows, cultivators, basically any implement you can use in the field. You can have it set up so it has two working at the same time. Now, let me just show you what the uh, symmetrical lane change is here in a second. So, the way it works is, so see how there's like this, this is his path right here. So what, what this guy's going to do is he's going to come back down on this side right here. Uh, but if you do a symmetrical lane change, he will skip this path and go to the next path, basically. Uh, so, let me just show you what it looks like without a symmetrical lane change. So he's coming up to the end here. So he's going to turn around. He's going to go straight back down this field right here. So he's going to do a little turn around, like so. 
and he's going to go straight down. So that's without the symmetrical lane change. So that's deactivated. If it were activated, he would have skipped this path right here and gone down the next path right here. And then this one would have gone where this combine is right here. So again, just to sum it all up, you generate a course, double the working width. So for example, this is four meters. So you make a course that is eight meters and then you offset each vehicle, one to the left and one to the right, about half of the lane offset, or half of the working width of the implement. And there you have it. That's how you set up two vehicles on the same course using course player. My name's Ian Robson, and have yourself a good day.